To separate the two teams in terms of league position, plenty in terms of style. Charlton's passing game almost producing the opening goal for Robinson. But it was West Brom's more direct approach that created the most chances, and it was no surprise when the home side took the lead on 35 minutes with Hunt's eighth goal of the season. The second half started the same as the first, Robinson again going close for Charlton. Hunt almost making it two for West Brom. Charlton's previous five games had ended in draws and Alan Kerbishley would certainly have settled for a point on this occasion. Substitute Steve Jones going close with just seconds remaining. The time ran out, final score West Bromwich Albion 1, Charlton 0. Niall Quinn just coming on towards the end of that game for Sunderland after 13 matches out, so a welcome return as far as he's concerned. Good win for West Brom against Charlton yesterday, Chris. It's a cracker when it keeps him up the top. Andy Hunt, who started the season in great form, scoring goals as well. Sunderland down to 12, Stockport have dropped to 11th, Chris is Bradford in 10th place, Stoke back up after a couple of bad results, Wolves in 8th, Port Vale now 7th, they came close to the playoffs last season, could they do it again? Charlton have slipped to 6th, Sheffield United in 5th but they've got gains in hand on all their rivals, Middlesbrough are up to 4th, West Brom in 3rd, Nottingham Forest stay 2nd and Swindon 3 points clear having played one game.